Yeah. What what you are is like I said. I think if there's a movie about the future, mm. one of the very first people that has used this kind of technology, and we're learning that these people are getting better at it, and they're and now with the use of AI. Mm. <sighs> I mean, who knows what's going to be possible with you just in a few yeah. years. Yeah. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. I know a lot of people are really nervous about it, um, and understandably so. Oh, I'm one ways. of them. I'm nervous. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I've, heard, I've heard a little bit of what you've said about it, and like, I don't have like good arguments against it. Not like I can come on here and be like, Joe, don't worry, man. Like I'm, I'm here to help. Don't worry about it. Uh, I would say let, that's the computer in your yeah, brain talking say, to you, let, man. Let me, let me into to your computer, your phone. I'll show you. There's no big deal. I'm your friend, Joe. Um, no, but I, I get it. At the same time, the way I look at it is like how much it's going to be able to help people. How much is going to be able to help people like me at the beginning, at least. Like I know a lot of this is like down the road stuff. Like, you know, what it's going to do f to normal people who um, who get this. They're going to be able to be hacked or controlled or something. Um, but for me, I think about it like how many people who are paralyzed don't have to be paralyzed anymore? How many people with disabilities, ALS or, um, you know, Alzheimer's or any of these who are blind, how many people are going to be able to live their lives again? And that's my goal at the beginning. I know that I feel like people are going to look at me and say, like, I really need to be more concerned about a lot of the, like, things coming down the road. And it's something that I'm trying to think more about because at some point people are going to ask and I don't have good answers for it because all I'm thinking about is, you know, like, I want to help people and I feel like this is going to help people and that's what I'm focused on. So. Well, I think your perspective is probably the right one because no one knows what's coming. Yeah. No one. And you can be freaked out about it like I am. <laughs> but I'm sometimes freaked out about it. But other times I'm just sort of resigned to the fact that this is just the existence that we find ourselves in. Yeah. This is our timeline. We, we live in a very strange timeline. And yeah. it's, it's happening at a very, very, very rapid rate. And no one has a map of the future. It's not possible. It's just all mm. guess. It's completely... It, it is like an ant trying to figure out how to operate an iPhone. There's, it, it's not, we don't have it. Yeah. Whatever it is, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be, and yep. you're not going to stop it now. Mm -hmm. It's, we are a runaway train. Yeah. Let's just hope we're going to a cool spot. <laughs> yeah, no, right. I mean, you look at a hundred years ago, like, there's no way they could have imagined what our world would be like now. No. So. And I have a feeling the next five to ten years is going to be a lot bigger than that. Yeah, I mean, exponential growth. Yeah. So. It's well, it's just once this stuff goes live, it's mm -hmm. just it's going to be really weird. It's going to be really weird. Yeah. But along the way, we're going to solve a lot of the problems. Yeah. That I mean, look, if I have, uh, I've had three uh, knee surgeries, two ACL reconstructions. Mm -hmm. If I lived a hundred years ago, I'd be a cripple. Yeah. You know, just how it is. Yeah. My knees would be destroyed. I wouldn't be able to walk good. Yeah. And now I can do anything. It's yeah. it, th That's just medical technology mm -hmm. and the understanding of the human body. Implementation of this kind of device that can allow you to move your body and can, mm -hmm. as you were saying earlier, um, you can bring back eyesight to some people. Yeah. This is something that they really are hopeful for. Mm -hmm. Have they done any of that on animals yet? Um, I'm not sure. I know that what... Uh, the plan is like they did a talk about it a while ago um, on like a show and tell. They basically show how um, like the how the Neuralink works in my brain would be very, very similar. You would just uh, take you would you would like activate certain parts of the brain or um, behind the eye, uh, the part of the brain, the part of the eye that. Um, dictate sight and stuff. You would activate certain things in order to display what's going on around the world to someone, to the back of someone's eye, to their retina, whatever it is. I don't know much about it. But they have done it. Um, oh, they did it with uh, monkeys, actually. Yeah. So there's a video of um, them lighting up parts of a screen. And uh, they have, like, basically an eye tracker in the monkey. And so the monkey will look to different parts of the screen and... Um, uh, like wherever they've lit up on the brain, basically. So whatever is going, wh whatever implant they have in the brain, they will like light up somewhere on the brain 
and it, then they'll light it up on the screen and the monkey will look there. And then at some point they stop lighting it up on the screen and they're just lighting it up in the monkey's brain and the monkey still looks there. Wow. So, yeah, so they know that they can do these sorts of things. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. I know that there are other companies that have done something similar to this too, um, with like giving people, uh, like helping people with their eyesight. I know one of them like went under, which was... It was just a wild story, uh, basically about a company who had implanted things in people, and the company went under, and then the people in the study were like, well, what do we do now? Um, and they didn't know if they were just going to, like, continue. That's one of the things about, like, Whoa. Like, yeah. Yeah. I should mention that uh, the blindside implant is already working in monkeys. The resolution will be low at first, like early Nintendo graphics, but ultimately may exceed normal human vision. Holy shit. Also, yeah. no monkey has died or been seriously injured by a Neuralink device. Look at that. March 21st. By a Neuralink device. Right. But they did have to kill the monkeys that they originally did studies on, right? Well, yeah. Do you know much about, like, studying with yes. animals and stuff like that yeah you have to kill them to find out what damage you've done yeah to them. <laughs> yeah exactly well like yeah basically all all animals that um are in studies at some point get i think they have a really terrible term for it i think they call them call it sacrifice so they Whoa. like sacrifice that's satanic animals. yeah it's come it's up crazy. with a new word guys yeah, i know right right <laughs> i know right um but in this day and age yeah, know, there's right? a lot of fucking it's not fear it's of not Satan. a great it's not a great um, yeah, for their cause. We could have worked on that one. Yeah, I know, right? Just put a little bit more thought into it. Um, so yeah, uh, they do that. They have to, like you said, learn right. something from the monkeys, um, from the animals that they're testing on. So some of them they will, um, you know, let live longer. Some of them they'll uh, implant something in and then sacrifice almost immediately to see because they have to know what it's doing short term, medium term, long term. Um, so basically all animals and all animal testing get sacrificed at some point. I don't know how true that is because obviously a lot of them, um, once they're done with the study that they're in, they let go live if it wasn't too invasive, if they don't need to like mm. study any part of them that we need to be killed for. Um, but if you're going to study the brain. If you're going to study the brain, then yeah. there's really no other way. You got to get it um, So then, and then the, there was the whole like, um, report that came out about all the terrible things that Neuralink was doing to monkeys. I've talked to the people. Uh, I got to meet them, um, the people who were working directly with the monkeys. Those monkeys have the best animal facility in the world. Someone, like, came in and built it. Um, like, basically, they're going around now. That person is going around and changing how other, um, like, labs treat their monkeys, like, for the better. 